We're Lauren and Scott, and we are cycling 10,000 kilometres across Europe. Starting in Greece, the plan is to cycle to the west coast of Ireland. Passing through 15 countries, we cycle through some of the most magical landscapes Europe has to offer. So join us on our first ever bike tour as we learn to navigate the European cycling networks, oh. encounter all weather conditions, and overindulge in our favourite baked goods. Mine's so crunchy. In this episode, we ride the very flat landscapes heading to Venice. <laughs> woken up this morning to a flat tire. We pass through some quaint villages, have some bike fun. Just a deliso. What? And spend the day in tourist capital, Venice. Busy. Busy. Today's plan is um, to meet our beautiful friends, Simone and Luana. We met them in Spit. Um, Skit. Skit weeks ago actually but he's been um, keeping track of us and making sure we're okay and they invited us to stay with them in Goritz. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, so they live on the border of Italy and Slovenia which is an 80k ride from here. Um, I think he's actually going to meet us for an afternoon ride as well so he's going to come down and then like ride us into his gas. And um, so into Trieste this morning, he's having some brekkie now and it's very windy but otherwise it should just be a day of Cycling towards Simon. Anything else on the farm? No. Pizza. I find it pizza. Pizza, yeah. Slept in a park last night, um, which was really nice and quiet. It was perfect actually, and um, we we're well hidden. But I have woken up this morning to a flat tire, so we're going to go to the road because this park has a trillion mosquitoes and test out our pump. It hasn't been used in a while. Hopefully, we can get the pump tire pumped up because we're actually on a gravel road in kind of like the middle of nowhere. So we camped at this little hiking area yesterday with a few tables and lots of mosquitoes, but today we're heading to Lido di Gelucesolo, which is like uh, on the coast near Carole. <laughs> Explanations are good. Um, it's a beach town and lots, there's lots of campgrounds around. It's about 60 kilometers away, and then it's 50 kilometers into Venice from there where our accommodation is for tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to follow the Eurovelo because it's really squiggly and goes up and down and sideways. and probably along a lot of dirt roads so we might just take a hopefully take a quiet road there and uh, cut, off, cut off about 40 kilometers to make it a bit quicker because we'll probably stay in a campground tonight I don't like paying for campgrounds when we rock up at 7 o'clock we get there a bit earlier you get your money's worth a bit more also I pumped up my tire it worked yeah. approximately two minutes later tire flat again we're just gonna pump it up again see how far I get it might be tube time Little is one of our favourite places. Scott's gone in to get us a baked good, because what else do you get from Little? Um, and some bananas actually. And yesterday I found out that at Little in Italy you have to like get like a sticker and stuff, so I don't know, see how he goes. So we stopped at Little for um, some baked goods and bananas, sent Scott in, 
came out with half the shop. Came out with mashed potato and lollies and just no baked goods, no bread. For some reason a packet of salami. It's interesting um, goods he always manages to come out with. <laughs> Anyway, today we're not following the Uravello, but there's lots of different bike routes in this region. And it's just putting us on these like beautiful little countryside towns. It's not much traffic, lots of vineyards and crop of some sort. All the roses are out and everyone's gardens are so lovely. So it's been good riding. Vroom. Stopping for a cup of tea. It's 10 o'clock. Beautiful Milena was making us um, homemade tea while we stayed with them in Slovenia, which was so yummy. It was like herbs from their garden. It was so it was fruity, like, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like lemony with um, lots of herbs. It was like a mountain tea. It was really yum. Yeah. Um, but haven't had an English breakfast tea in a little while, so we just stopped on the side of the road in a little park, um, having a cup of tea and um, some salami. By itself as well. Interesting mix. When in Italy. And my shit. When in Italy. Yeah. We bought these in, I think you bought them in Bosnia. And they're three in one coffees, and so it's like uh, milk powder, sugar, and coffee, and it's got hatred. They're shit. He's trying to get through. <laughs> trying to get through them. Campground in Lido del Gelesolo. The Jura is coming through here in just two days. We're going to miss out just by two days. Tomorrow we're heading to Venice. We got here this afternoon in the beautiful sunshine. We went down on the beach, which was really cool. Lots of umbrellas, of course. And then Scott was like, oh, I need to go get wine. Ah, ah. So I came back to the campground and sat in the shade, and it was lovely. And then he comes back with two bottles of wine, one of which, just a tap. You just buy a bottle, fill it up. Just like filling up with water, comes back with it in his bike. In my bike, in my water bottle hole. Crazy cat. Anyway, it's not very good. Yes. Drinking it out of a camp, camping cup. Pack 
walking out of town like I do every other day. <laughs> what? No help whatsoever. It's kind of a bit of a chore, really. Hope you can tell that he is joking. Um, today we're heading to Venice. Hooray! Um, I have woken up to a complete flat again. Um, so we're just actually going to head to a bike shop that is in Chesolo on the way, six kilometres. So I'm just going to pump it up a little bit more just to get me there. Um, sort that out. The other thing that's on the cards to do today is Scott needs a haircut. His hair is horrendous. So let's go to Venice. So we went to the bike shop, didn't speak much, much English, but we did get out of them that they don't deal with tubeless tyres. So they just put more air in my tyre, we're hoping it gets us to where we're going near Venice, because there's lots of bike repair shops over there. And see what we can do this afternoon. We're staying just out of Venice, so there's lots of shops and things to do. Can't check into our cabin this afternoon until three o'clock, um, but there's like this really big shopping centre across the road. Uh, that we were just going to pop into. Still on the hunt for a footprint for our tent. Um, it just gets quite wet underneath, so that'd be nice to have. So we'll have a little gaze over there and see what we can do with my bike, and then check in, and then Venice itself is actually tomorrow. So we'll wake up early and head into the city. So we'll the head with the grass. Mm, so many spider webs. We always seem to see these lookout towers along the way, and most of the time they don't really look out over much. See a little bit of a lake here, marshland behind me, it's pretty nice. We're on this really cool gravel track. My tyre's not loving it that much. We already had to stop and fill it back up. It lasted about six, six kilometres before it went flat again. So not sure if it was the best decision to uh, not go back to a bike shop that we're about five kilometres from, but that's okay. <laughs> Might just fill it up all day. We'll get there. Back down we go. Welcome to our little 12 square meter, what do you call this, bungalow? Cabin. Cabin. Two single beds, just enough room for the bikes, small bathroom, shower, charging pot. The, sm the smaller spaces that we've had, right? Very much and so. And the bikes still fit. And we've had people on Airbnb say the bikes won't fit in their 40 square meter house, which is 12, and we have plenty of room. So, anyway, beautiful day, 25. Felt a bit dehydrated as we didn't drink enough water or electrolytes today, and it's been hot, so I'm just going to rest up a bit. I actually am going to go put the washing on and then go for a swim. G'day. On Venice? Yeah. Probably one of the most picturesque cities I've ever seen. Ooh. Lovely streets, the buildings are amazing, the canals are pretty, the bridges are just as good. But it's probably one of the city, one of the first cities I would not come back to. It's weird to say that it's too many people because I'm here, but mm. it's just not my sort of travel place. It's just, there's no local feel. You can tell that people work in shops down like the two, it's, it's just, I don't know. Busy. Busy, but different. So much bigger than I thought, like so much bigger. It's only 3.30 and we've already walked 25 down the steps. <laughs>